Suron competitors have been hitting the market like crazy. Luckily for us, they're getting faster and they're getting cheaper. This is a brand new bike, claims to be faster than a Suron and somehow cost under $3,000. This is the RAR Mantis X 72 volt. What is it called? 72 volt, six and a half kilowatts, 50 miles an hour. So that should be the stock Suron. These are basically the specs of like an E-Ride Pro S, like the smaller one, but a thousand dollars cheaper. <laughs> so for 3000 bucks, what are you getting in the box? Obviously, the bike, 19 inch front wheel, 203 millimeter rotor, but it's 2.7 mil thick. So that's better than a Saron. Also, these spokes are way thicker than the spokes on my E-Ride Pro. I haven't had any problems with these, but that bike costs 50% more than this bike. You get your front fender with these kind of uh, textured graphics, front axle, a pretty basic 72 volt charger. And this is kind of cool. This is a nameplate option if you don't want to run the stock headlight. I don't know of any other bike that comes with that. Also a first, this optional spring. This is a 750 pound spring, but it's much shorter for any smaller riders. This will probably lower that bike about an inch and a half. That is a super cool touch. You also have the mounting bracket for these uh, headlight options and you have some direct mount spacers so you can adjust the height of your bars. Now this is the coolest part. The bike comes with a full Toolkit. Look at that. Rar. Everything you could possibly need. Extra bolts. Everything you could possibly need to work on this bike, including zip ties and these Velcro cable organizers with Rar branding. It even comes with blue Loctite. Are you joking? Dude, it's at 80%. Sick, dude. bike is charging. Let's just have a moment of real talk. I have never been a big fan of RAR's bikes. That's why I've never had one. I've never reviewed one. And when they emailed me to see if I wanted to review this, I was like, uh, I was really clear with them up front. I was like, there are things I don't like about this bike. They were totally cool with that. They were like, just give it an honest review. Now that we're in the honesty corner, let's get real about the things I don't like. Uh, number one, the frame. I feel like the frame is the most important part of a bike, and some people like this frame. Totally fine if you do. I am not one of those people. This design, I get that that's their thing, but like you have this thing here, just move that to there. Also, because the frame design is so different from a Suron or an E-Ride, basically no parts carry over. So if you want to change anything about this bike or give it more power, it's just going to be a lot harder than on a Suron, E-Ride, even on a Talaria. Another major thing, and listen, I know this is stupid, it's the name. RAR? Every time I've said that in this video, I die a little bit. Huge bummer, no rear linkage. It's just not as refined, you don't get as much travel, and you have to run really weird spring rates to make it feel normal. Another thing, because this has a gearbox and not a belt, it will need oil changes. I don't really care, but that's important to some people. So could be a con. Here's all the good stuff. 72 volt, 30 amp hour battery. The seat is literally the best seat on the market. Direct mount stem, 19 inch front wheel with a 17 inch rear wheel. Also, actual tires. Super wide swing arm. Look how much tire you can fit in there. Big pegs. Decent KKE fork and KKE rear shock. I mean, this is the stuff you're getting on a Suron for 3K. Plastic foot on the kickstand and this little adjuster. Come on. And one last thing I just noticed. A fork lock. Surons have a spot for this, but they never came with it. Check this out. If you're locking up your bike, you twist your bars all the way to one side. Look at that, now your bars don't move. Starting off on the RAR Mantis 72 volt X. Of course I'm gonna test top speed, off-road, jumping, but the first and most important thing to test is the fun factor. This is an eco mode. Okay, eco mode is, you know, it's eco mode, whatever. Let's hit the big red button. Now we're in sport. There's also race, we'll test that in a second. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, I got to <laughs> I forgot to bend my brakes. Oh. Okay, locked up the rear wheel. I think we're ready to go. Whoa. 
Yeah. Dude, this thing moves. And I don't know if it's the head tube angle or something, but you feel a little bit more forward and it's a lot easier to kind of dive into turns. It's interesting. Throttle feels smooth. I say we, uh, oh, let's adjust the preload. Oh, am I not able to? What? Okay, whatever. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Bars feel nice and wide. You know, pretty good seating position. That's enough boring stuff. Let's see, uh, let's see if it does the thing. Oh. Huh. Wheelies in sport mode. Not quite there. It has plenty of power in sport mode. It feels faster than a stock Suron, but the throttle's like too smooth. Let's try race. Yeah, that feels a little better. Okay, I think we're gonna have to really yank it. Oh, this is weird. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. I gotta figure out how to wheelie this thing. Gosh, it did 50? If that's accurate, at 40% battery, it did 50 miles an hour. Thank God I'm on my uh, closed course private property, by the way. I thought it would only do 50 at 100% battery. That's impressive. I mean, that beats a Suron. A Suron at 40% battery will like barely do 20. I'm joking, Sur but you know what I mean. Dude, if we can get this to wheelie, it might be a pretty good contender against like a triple X. Gotta get way back. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> this feels like learning how to wheelie for the first time. What the heck? It's so weird. It feels fast. Like it cruises really quick. It just won't wheelie. <laughs> Maybe it just takes more technique than I have. I, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Huge breakthrough. I'm so f***ing stupid. They have an app and it looks like there's Eco 1, 2, and 3, which I assume are Eco, Sport, and uh, Race. I'm going to see if I can uh, make the throttle curve a little more intense. Just in race mode. Okay. Firm settings. I don't actually know if that's fully connected to the bike or not. It was being kind of weird, but we'll find out. Let's go to uh, race. Oh, no way. Yeah. Is that how you wheelie this thing? <laughs> oh man, it's touchy. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, you can disable the kickstand sensor and the disc brake sensors. Oh, I should have plugged those in. Whatever. None of that matters. We got a wheelie. I'm going to tone down that throttle curve Initial again. throttle response, top speed, regenerative braking. Yes! I just got off the phone with RAR. They were super chill about everything. Basically, they said the app isn't done yet. So that explains that. They were also confused why I couldn't wheelie the thing. And I watched another video of a guy ripping wheelies on this thing, no problem. Dude, it wheelie just fine. That's so sick. Feels a little weird on the knobby tires, but if you want to learn how to wheelie this thing, <laughs> this is crazy. For 30,000 bucks, you can get this. Can I go Minox? Oh! I don't know what was going on, but now that it's acting normal, we're gonna test the holy trinity. Top speed, wheelies, and jumping. First thing, top speed. Got my GPS running. Good thing I'm on a private road. Forty-nine miles an hour again at 100% battery or at 50% battery. This thing hits 49. I'm about 200 pounds. I'm not very aerodynamic. Ah! The bike has a lot of power, but it's not so much power that it's like, uh oh. But it's not so much power that you never learn how to like use your body to wheelie. You know, weird getting used to a new bike. If you're a lighter rider, I'm sure you can wheelie at 25 plus. For me, it's about 20. I'm also kind of spoiled because my e-ride has so much torque that I never really yank the bars. If you're learning how to wheelie, this and a Suron, I feel like are both great to learn how to wheelie. This definitely has a bigger seat for combos, kind of like a triple X, but this thing's so smooth compared to either of those bikes. Oh yeah, with a little technique, dude, this thing. So it's definitely a shorter wheelbase, which makes it kind of like flicky and turnable. If you're a taller rider, uh, it might be too short, but if you're younger, if you're lighter, this seems pretty like flickable. So you can kind of like uh, carve in wheelies and really learn technique. I don't know if I mentioned it. I'm 100% sure these are just the exact brakes that are on an E-Ride. And those are decent brakes. And you're getting them on a bike that's under $3,000.
with a little digging done. Let's see how this puppy jumps. Oh, are those thorns? Oh my God, they are. Get, God. Always fighting back, okay. Oh, fuck, ow. 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 Much shorter wheelbase than I'm used to. I'm much like farther forward over the bars. Oh, interesting. Oh, whoa. This feels a lot more like uh, bicycle geometry rather than like the E-Ride. Oh wow, this thing rips. The E-Ride has a much slacker head tube angle. This, you're much farther forward over the bars. It feels very uh, BMX-like. And you can definitely feel that the center of gravity is lower. Like it feels stable, it just doesn't pop up in the same way. Also, the foot pegs are solid. When you're in dirt, I think you should upgrade these a little bit. Whoa! Holy oh, shit, I'm bad at jumping. I think for a smaller rider, this thing would rip. I am not a smaller rider. Oh my gosh! Whoa! Dude, this thing, just like for trail riding and everything, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's definitely, uh, oh, it's definitely 72 volt. This is crazy. This is so fun. <laughs> Hill climb test. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it passed. I'm going to soften the rear shock up a bit, which by the way, is exactly the same one on my E-Ride. So interesting which parts all these bikes share. A well-designed rear suspension with a proper linkage setup and all of that, yes, does feel better. Uh oh, someone's closed. So suspension wise, up front, it feels like a Suron. Out rear. Ah, why do I keep bonking that? Stop. I need to just turn. I'm just like, oh my God. Okay, I just decided that's a negative part of my review. The horn button's too sensitive and easy to bump. God. Dude, if kids are jumping rad bikes, you could jump the heck out of this thing. This thing is pretty darn sweet. Before the review is over, I gotta get that combo. Me and EC Sander. Oh my god, let's count it, let's count it. I think all in all, this thing is pretty sick, actually. I started not liking it, because I just, I'm not a huge fan of this frame design, but it's been growing on me. Everyone I talk to seems to like it. And at this price point, I feel like this and the Triple X are pretty hard to beat. Let me know if you want to see a drag race between this and a Triple X. I think that could be interesting. Otherwise, let me know what questions you have, and I'll try to answer them as best I can in the comments. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace!